Good day, everyone. You guys should see what they have done to one of our brother, our lovely brother, he with our family. Let's hear from him, guys. Body. Who put Nigeria where Nigeria is today? Whether you stole funds or you murdered people to get a position, anybody in Nigeria now who has contributed to the death and the suffering of Nigerian people. May what you have done to these people visit your generation forever. Let your bloodline, let your bloodline from you down to the day this world will end. Anybody that comes out of you, may they begin to suffer the same calamity that you have put on these people. This is not a godly prayer, I know. But let this thing that you have done to people, let it visit you and your bloodline. If you have a dream, if you have an ambition, if you have a desire to be at a particular point in your life, at a, at a particular age, then do everything you possibly can now to get out of Nigeria. Let me repeat myself to you. If you have a dream, if you have a desire, if you want to see good days on this earth, do everything you possibly can to leave Nigeria. Nigeria is not good. Nigeria is a ticking time bomb. Hmm. Nigeria is going to explode soon. Every single day is going tick tock, tick tock. The time is is it's setting, it's ticking, it's, it's ticking, it's getting closer. Nigeria is a ticking time bomb. And when it explodes, you don't want to be caught in the middle of things. But should I also shock you? Should I also surprise you? Even our leaders, both political leaders, religious leaders, our traditional leaders, all the people in the helm, at the helm of affairs in Nigeria, they all know that Nigeria is about to explode. And guess what they have done? They have created for themselves an escape route. Do you know how many of our politicians have invested in Western countries to the tune of above $5 million? I'm not talking about um, presidents or governors. I'm talking about just civil servants who have investments in this part of the world over $5 million. And when they invest that kind of money in, in this country, they give them permanently, give them their papers. So... Whether Nigeria explodes or not, our leaders have already created for themselves a way of escape. Okay. Have you sat down to think that it's 2021, there's still no light in Nigeria. The giant of Africa. Have you sat down to think that there is no light. Don't worry about insurgency. Don't worry about all these bandits for now. Let's talk about electricity. Do you know, have you sat down to think that in 2021, where the whole world now is now doing wireless electricity, where cables are run on the ground, Nigeria does not have light. It shows that there are certain powers that are controlling the destiny of Nigeria. There are certain unseen people, forces that are controlling the that is controlling the destiny of Nigeria. And so, 
a person with dreams, a person with desire, a person that wants to achieve something for themselves, do not stay in that kind of environment. Nigeria would destroy you if you stay there. Look at Tunam Dikano. Look at him. Let me ask you a question. Do you really think Tunam Dikano is a normal human being? In terms of, do you think he's just talking by himself? Unam the Kano is a messenger, just as I am a messenger. And everybody is a messenger. And when messengers hear a message from another messenger, we know that that man was sent by God. He was sent for that particular purpose. His destiny is there. That's why he's consistent with his message. Unam the Kano reminds me of Patrice Lumumba of the, of the Congo. The same spirit that worked in Patrice Lumumba is the same spirit that is at work in Unam the Kano right now. That man is talking, but we are not listening. That's another speech for another day. Now, Adeboye went to visit Yaya Bello in his office. A man that clearly has questionable character. Very questionable character. Was he not the same person that Dino Malai said the other day that went to the bank to withdraw how many millions of dollars? Ten times, million naira, sorry, ten times in one day. The man, he wants to run for president of Nigeria. These people don't even send, they don't care what's going on. All they're worried about now is 2023 election. What is there for me? Papa Adeboye went to visit him and was saying there, was telling him that um, um, you don't have no idea how happy I am to be here. The very same man that has questionable character in terms of embezzling government funds. So you can now see now that the exploitation of Nigeria is from all angles, from the pulpit to the government to the people you rely on, you now begin to see that Nigeria is now vulnerable. So, back to my speech. If you know that 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 you want a good life, begin now to plan your exit from Nigeria. There are countries that you can go that are visa-free. There are neighboring African countries that are thriving. There are neighbor African countries that are visa-free to Nigerian citizens. Begin to pack your load now and begin to go because there is an agenda. There is a bigger agenda that is preparing itself to unleash itself in Nigeria. And everybody that you are seeing that you are relying on, they have all created for themselves a way to escape. But let me, I want to pray one prayer. Everybody, anybody, who put Nigeria where Nigeria is today? Whether you stole funds or you murdered people to get a position, anybody in Nigeria now who has contributed to the death and the suffering of Nigerian people, may what you have done to these people visit your generation forever let your bloodline let your bloodline from you down to the day this world will end anybody that comes out of you may they begin to suffer the same calamity that you have put on these people this is not a godly prayer i know but let this thing that you have done to people let it visit you and your bloodline